Hey guys, Grady here. Just checking in for the day, you know. Things like that. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing fine. I'm doing fine. It's a nice breezy day today for a change. Um, just here with Robert. Robert, over here, buddy. Over here, dude. Stay on this side. Uh, 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 no, stay on this side. Come on, bud. Um, um, no. Um, just standard day, you know? Um, I'm here today to discuss what's been happening over these past few weeks. I know I've mostly been talking, you know, about politics. When I say this this time, though, I mean I'm going to just be talking about what's been happening in general. So, I've been um, doing well at work. I've enjoyed my work. I've been um, going to work five days a week, still having the same days off, Monday and Tuesday, and those are the days where I edit these videos for you guys and upload them for the most part. Come on, Robert. Let's run, dude. Come on. Um, anyways, guys, um, we're um, just walking through the neighborhood. It's a bright day, but it's nice and chilly. It's not super duper hot like it has been, so that's nice. First day of fall was a couple days ago, so happy late fall. Um, happy late fall, yeah. Um, so, yeah, now it's early fall and the leaves have been changing and falling a lot of them. Um, so, yeah, it's been really nice. Um, hopefully going to go have lunch with my mom today, just me and her, somewhere. Not sure where if it'll be down the hill or up here, but it's been, you know, it's been a peaceful day thus far. My sister, poor sister, is homesick today. Um, she just got back from... Oklahoma, they had to get her stuff from college because she's not going to finish college out there. I'm, she's still going to finish college, but I think she'll finish it out here. She's going to live home for, for a few years. Her and I are both working, um, but on my days off, I do my best to spend as much time with her or my mom as possible. That's my goal. Not for today only because she's sick. I don't want her getting other people sick, of course. Um, but anyways, she's not like deathly ill. Like I know she'll be fine. Um, but you know, just making sure to look out for her, all that type of stuff, you know, doing the usual. Um, and it's been a, it's been a good past few weeks, you know, the weather's been little cooler it's a lot cooler today which is nice like you can tell it's cold but I don't have a jacket I don't need a jacket for today it's really nice that I'm able to do that and um, it's been a uh, there are the mountains over there still no snow on them but there they are US American Rockies in Colorado it's pretty crowded in Colorado now it's still beautiful don't get me wrong oh gosh I don't think Colorado will really ever lose its beauty but it's just too many people here now you know and that type of thing um, but it's still a beautiful state for those of you who have not been here, I recommend you come out here. There are other states with nice mountains, like Alaska has some nice mountains. 
California has really nice mountains. A lot of people, they think, oh yeah, California, you know, crowded Los Angeles. There are some very remote areas of California, too. You go to the Sierra Nevada mountain range, that's pretty, it's pretty remote um, in that area throughout the majority of the year. In the summertime, I'd say it's pretty crowded because people want to go to Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks, but, um, which I've never been there, but I've heard from people from California. They say, you know, that it's beautiful up there. I, I work at a store, so obviously I get customers from all around the country and all around the world. I've, I have regular European customers. I have a couple of regular Asian customers. Um, I've, I have a customer from South Africa. Um, I've got some from the South region of America. I've met some from there. I have some customers from Mexico. All these wonderful places in the world. Everywhere is wonderful. Every country, like I told you guys, when I go to Russia, I'm gonna go there so I can, you know, see the nature. Howdy, good, how are you? Day, huh? Yep, nice and chilly too for a change. Yeah, cool. yep. Yeah, it was chilly this morning especially. Still is, yeah, yeah. thank goodness. Sure Happy about that. Good, all righty, hey, yep. you take care. You too. Um, that was my neighbor, guys. He's a cop. He's a nice cop though. I know like there's a lot of discrimination against people with cops, but not, not all cops are like that. I mean, I understand where people are coming from, you know, like, oh yeah, all cops are the same. I guess you could say that, but then that would be like saying that all, you know, people are the same. The reality is, is that all people are different. The only thing that makes us all the same is that we're all liars. Everybody lies. But anyways, guys, back to what I was talking about. Um, there are plenty of nice places in the world, and I, I have a regular customer from Thailand. She's very nice. And I told her that, well, I've never been to Thailand. I'd like to go someday. I told her that my dad has been to Thailand because he has, and he's been to Nepal as well. He's been to Egypt. He's been to Poland, not Poland, I'm sorry, Portugal, um, Spain, and France. Of course, he's been to France. Everybody I know who's traveled internationally outside of the American continent has been to um, France. Um, he's also been to England, but I've also been to England. Didn't go to France, Spain, or Portugal, though, with him. I wasn't old enough. I don't even think I was alive. Actually, I wasn't alive when he went there. Um, he enjoyed um, all those places. Said Portugal was one of the best he's been to. He's also been to Scotland and Wales. I have not been to Scotland and Wales. I'd love to go someday. Um, there are the mountains out there, guys. Still no snow on them. Hoping to get some snow soon. Um, look at these leaves. Aren't they so pretty? Look, they're multicolored. They're literally multicolored. Good boy, Robert. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm, you know, I get people from from all over the world and I say to them you know when they tell me where they're from I say you know I've heard good things because I have I've heard good things about a lot of these places I have a customer from Denmark as well and I say to him you know I'd love to go there and I've had people from Mexico and yes there are poor areas in Mexico but there are also a lot of really nice areas in Mexico there are a lot of poor areas and rich areas in every country that includes in northern korea as well there are poor and rich areas there are poor and rich areas in china as well china has two 
Disney Park locations. There's a Disneyland in Shanghai, and there's obviously a Disneyland in Hong Kong. Um, but, you know, there, there are poor places everywhere. There's not really many countries that you're going to find where there are not poor and rich places. There, I'm sure there are some, but, you know, there are also really rich parts of Russia. And like I told you, I've had customers from there say that I should go there. Russia's really pretty. It's like, it's like here, but it's more wet. It's more of a wet state. So, you know, not a lot of fires, not a lot of fires at all. Look at these leaves. Gosh, they're so pretty. Can't get enough of them. This is why I love fall. Uh -huh. Look at this little guy here. He's nestled in this other tree. It's got a lot of the leaves gone already. But um, anyways, um, you know, it's it's been a great past few weeks. I've been um, doing well at work. I've been, you know, telling people how my day's been. I've been friendly with the customers. I, I like helping the customers out. I do, I think it's great. I love, you know, if they ask me a question, I love answering it. Um, I will say, you know, I found this item here in this aisle, but we could have also just recently moved it because somewhat recently, we had a pretty large move around of stores, uh, not of stores, of items on the shelves. Um, so that's really, that's really what's been happening. Though that happened like a few months back, but still it's, um, it's been great. You know, I've had a great time since I've been back home from Alaska. Of course I miss Alaska, but I'll admit, it's nice to be back home. As hot as it has been, it's not very hot today, which is really nice. It makes me want to be out here for an extremely long time. It does. It makes me want to, you know, repeatedly come back again and again and again, come out for the day. So you might see more than one nature walk from today. So that's a very distinct possibility. Look at this tree here. Look, beautiful, aren't they? Just beautiful. I can't get enough of them. Seriously, I can't. It's been such a peaceful, peaceful day. All right, come on, boy. Um, it's been a really great month so far. We're in late September now. It's almost October. When October hits, that's when Halloween hits at the end of October. I know that Canada's Thanksgiving is coming up, and I also know that Indigenous People's Day is coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to um, Indigenous People's Day. Um, that'll be fun. It's, um, it's a beautiful day to celebrate and honor those who were here before we were. I love doing that. I, um, I've been enjoying, you know, being active on YouTube on both of my channels. I know I don't upload to this channel frequently, but then again, the videos on this channel in, in general are longer than the videos on my main channel, which is Sims 3 Forever Dude, for those of you who don't know, um, which is okay if you don't know. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna keep saying it as I get more and more subscribers, so, you know, I don't really, you know, I don't really um, have any concerns about the content that I'm posting on either channel. I'm trying to keep it as appropriate and as friendly as possible, not to spread hate towards anybody. I don't spread hate towards anybody, and you know, I don't really care 
what your beliefs are unless it's something that is really truthfully morally wrong according to the general public of the world but like I mean even if you you know I didn't I'm a Republican I didn't vote for Trump but if you did vote for Trump I'm not gonna spread hate towards you because I don't believe in doing that you know you voted for Trump you voted for Trump I didn't vote for him because I don't vote for murderers as president but you know that's the guy you voted for so you know I don't I don't judge I really don't I hate judging it's cruel it's cruel and it's heartless extremely heartless it's evil it's evil to judge in my eyes I, about some things certain things you should judge about like not not appearances or anything you know I don't judge people based on their clothing because I don't know how they are in real life if I only see them for like you know a few minutes at the grocery store doesn't mean I know anything about what they look like man guys look it's such a pretty peaceful day it is it's a pretty peaceful day um, I don't like, you know, getting into arguments with people, even though I'm the king of arguing, I don't really like it anymore. I used to, and now it's just like, eh, you know, don't get into arguments with people. Have sensible discussions, of course, but don't like, you know, flat out argue. Arguing is not cool. Having a sensible discussion now that's what I enjoy. Come on, buddy. Come on. I love sensible discussions. I've talked to people, you know, even if they were for Trump, and I knew it, and I would say, but you know, I don't judge, and I think people should be allowed to have sensible discussions about it. And they've even agreed, even though the majority of Trump supporters I've talked to have all gotten really upset that I, that I didn't vote for him. I'm just saying, though, as a Republican, I didn't want him to win, okay? And you can be gay and Republican. You can be socialist and Republican. I'm not exactly Republican anymore, but still, I voted for... I voted for who I voted for, and I don't really regret it, but I will say... There are a lot of regrets people have in life. That's just normal. It's just part of life. I enjoy, um, you know, I used to be a, I used to be fairly lazy, but now I really enjoy, you know, getting out in nature. I mean, I've always enjoyed nature, but not as much as I do now. I've always had a love for being in nature. Of course, having friends or having civilization nearby so I can, you know, get help if I need it. But still, I'll take risks and I don't hold a grudge if, even if I do get hurt. I don't, I don't have a reason to, I don't really care to, um, I think it's really, really sad that some people hold grudges like that. There was a guy in South California who was on a camping trip with some people, they had an instructor with them and this guy got attacked by a bear and although he endured over 150 stitches Josh refused to hold a grudge and he said you know blaming the bear is like saying well I blame the wilderness for being there first and he even said and I would not worry about going camping again because no matter where you go there are risks and you either face those risks or you lead a really boring life so he's a respectable person 
I wouldn't hold a grudge either, would I be upset? Yeah, maybe slightly, but I, I wouldn't hold a grudge. I don't enjoy, you know, being, well, towards some people, I enjoy being a jerk, but for the most part, I can't stand it. I think it's cruel. I mean, like, one of my friends at work, yeah, I like to be a jerk to him, but he's just someone different. He's a special case. He's not, he doesn't have a disability or anything. Come on, dude. Come on. He doesn't, but he's, he did, he, well, he didn't vote for him, but he does support Trump, so he knows that because of that. I like to be a jerk to him, but he knows that I'm doing it only because I care, because I don't, you know, it's not to show meanness or hatred, and he knows that, and you know, it's just more like I'm messing with him, you know, I just say, you know, oh, well, whatever, you know, but still, still, it doesn't matter, like, you've got to, you can mess with people, like, people give me a hard time, say something mean, but I know it's like a joke, but still, in general, like, if you're not making a joke, you really shouldn't be talking like that to other people. It's really not nice. It isn't. It's not very nice. We need to be nice to everyone, you know? I don't care. I don't care what, you know, what other people say. You be nice to everyone. It doesn't matter. You, if, you know... You really, the only time you should be mean to someone is out of self-defense. I actually got kicked off of Twitter because I was mean to somebody in self-defense. I said something, and to be honest, I don't really regret saying it. It was something really horrible. I'll even say that it was racist, not in sense of skin color ways. In another way, it was racist. But, you know, they were racist to me, so... Treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna treat me like dirt. Don't expect me to be all lovey-dovey and all nice to you, because I won't be. But that's common for, like, a lot of people. It is. It's common. You feed off of the energy. You do. You feed off of the energy that people give you. If people give you negative energy, I guarantee you, other people will feed off of that and they'll do the exact same thing and then they'll criticize you for giving them negative energy when they just did the same to you so you know I'm just saying be nice to everybody because you really don't know what other people are going through and I am really nice to everyone like I am I don't really and you know I don't really care you know if people voted for Trump. Yes, it's a concern because Trump is clearly failing as president, but at the same time, I'm not going to go out there and say, oh, you're a bad person because you voted for Trump. It doesn't make somebody a bad person, nor does it make somebody a good person if they voted for Hillary. Not all people who voted for Trump are bad. I even had a guy who said this to me. He literally said, you know, I voted for that asshole, excuse my language, but that's what he said. He said, I regret it. And he said, I just didn't want Hillary to run um, or to be in office, which I guess I can understand. But anyways, guys, that's going to market for this video. So anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Have a peaceful day. I mean that too. Have a very peaceful day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Love you all. Bye.